Hello my dear family members, today we will solve an important coding question which was asked in Infosys assessment on 6th July and you know total 15 coding questions were asked in this exam right. So if you want all the coding questions with answer in Java and Python both please damn me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.tf these are included in our prime materials I would try to assist you okay. So let's see one of the coding questions. So the question was regarding good set okay so you are given a string s consisting of lowercase and uppercase letters let x be the set of indices from s which satisfy the following conditions okay so first condition is the chosen set of indices must be all distinct and lower let lowercase letters and the chosen set of indices should not have any uppercase letters present between them in the original string s find the maximum possible number of elements in x and here is the input format that is the first line contains a string s denoting the given string so let's see the sample input output actually in this uh, screenshot there is no sample input output so i have written this manually so the first sample input is this so if the sample input is a b capital c d f then output should be three because a b and d f are the contiguous smallest uh, small, small case letters right so that's why uh, you can see the c is in between both right so df is the longest substring you can say uh, in which all the letters are small small case and the length is greater right like uh, greater than ab that's why the output is 3 so the second sample input is this so a b c d e f g h i j k l m n so d and i are capital letters so a b c and e f g h and j k l m n are in small case right so contiguously j k l m n are such letters in which no capital letters present right so that's why as this length is greater than e f g h and a b c that's why the length is printed that is 5 that's why the output is 5 so these are all you had to do right so if you can then please start solving the problem if you are not able to solve the problem then don't skip okay so let's see the solution in python actually i have written the solution so the name of the function is max elements and it is taking an argument that is a string and then we are going through all the element of that string so for i in range length of the s and we are checking if the current element s of i the first element at first is lower i mean is lower case so this is the uh, inbuilt function in python which checks if the character is lower or not if lower then it returns true if capital then false right so in this case let's say this is the first element so it will return true so it will go inside the a block and then we are initializing current count is equal to zero current length okay so current length is equal to zero so we are increasing that current length right so current length is equal to plus one okay then we are uh, we are also checking the max count right so that's why we are also initializing max count is equal to zero and we are comparing that right so max count is equal to max of current max count and the previous max count so we'll compare that then it will return the actual max uh, count then it will store max count okay if this is not a capital then it will go to the else block and the current element current length or current count will be initialized as zero okay and after all the iteration it will return the max count so here we are just calling the function and printing that value okay so nothing else so these are all i had to do right so let's see if this is giving right output or not so for this the output should be two because only two letters are there which in which no capital letters are there but contiguous but small right so that's why output is two if this is let's say a b c d so output should be 4 in this case okay and let's say i am putting here capital t so output should be 3 okay and output is 3 let's say i am putting here uh, t r e so in this case t r e c so this is the greater in length so output should be 4 in this case so output is 4 as expected right so in this problem i have not taken the set as mentioned in the question but this is giving proper output so this will not produce any problem in exam okay so i hope you understood the problem and the task 
and the syntax and logic I used here as well, right? So if you understood, then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want. And if you want the prime materials in which I have included all the recent coding questions with answer, all the previous coding questions with answer, and all the technical questions. So if you want, then please knock me at my study instagram.com slash techno.ef. I will try to assist you. Okay, so thank you for today's session.